So consumer data rights uh, are rights for people to control their own data, to actually know what's being stored about them uh, by corporations, small to medium enterprises, large businesses, and even government entities. And it's not only limited to personal information, the Consumer Data Rights Bill covers also sensitive data, but also data about data and data related to consumers. So if we look at, for example, the potential to share information between service providers uh, so that consumers know if they're paying the best price for a utility, for instance, in banking uh, or energy or telecommunications. Let's take the telecommunications example, for example, what happens when data is stored about caller detail records, but also other sensor-based information, uh, is that shared to a third party? Uh, for instance, location information. So it's very important that companies start to document the kinds of information they hold on individuals or businesses, uh, what they're doing with that information, how long they're storing it for, why they need it, and how it's being secured. Um, it's all about the transference of data from one provider to another, and it's about maintaining control for the consumer ultimately, although there are question marks about uh, how this information will be controlled if it's shared between third parties. Uh, is it prone to more data breaches, for instance, uh, or is it okay and safe? So an emphasis there on security profiles, on risk management approaches, uh, and the ability to implement a global privacy and security by design.